Hey folks, today I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. A T-Fighter from Star Wars. Let's jump into the video. Hey, I'm Raphael. I work in movies industry as a professional steady cam operator. But I also have an unusual skill. I make awesome props from movies like this with just a few pieces of cardboard and some easy tools. I explain to you how to do this. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a T-Fighter from Star Wars. But hey, at any point during the video, check out the show notes and links in the description below. I list all the tools that I've used, as well as some additional resources, and of course, templates for all parts that I've built. Now, let's jump into the video. Using a steel ruler and a precision knife, I cut two thick pieces like this. And for more thinner pieces like these ones. I smashed the thicker ones that way. And I glued the thin ones on each side. And I close the corrugation using wood glue. With a pencil, I darken both sides. Then, with a steel ruler and a precision knife, I cut the design on it. Question of the day. What props or objects from Star Wars would you like me to make next? Write the name of them in the description below. Then I made a piece like this to make the frames on the wings. I cut them a little bit in a retrenchment. And I fitted pieces of cardboard between each part. Then I made the details on the wings. I made another piece like this, the same that I made to make the frames, in order to make the details on the wings. Using cardboard paper and wood glue, I made several rollers in different sizes. In order to make these details. I did the same for both sides, but on one side, keep the center empty. That will allow you to glue the cockpit later. This part was a little bit tricky to do because it's a kind of ball and curves are difficult to make with cardboard. But fortunately, I noticed that the wheel one was made with several panels. So I cut several pieces like this. I sanded the corners in order to glue them more accurately. Then, to make the porthole on the back, 
I cut a round piece like this and I removed a little part like this to make the porthole. And I glued it inside of the cockpit. I made another piece like that to make the dashboard. Then I made the frame on the porthole. as well as the front windows. And the cupola of the top. In order to be able to put the ship on a pedestal later, I put a magnet on the bottom of the cockpit. And I cut another cupola, the same size as the one on the top, and I glued it above the magnet on the bottom. I cut two pieces like that, I smashed them, And using wood glue, I made two rollers like that. Afterwards, I made the details on the cockpit. You have to keep in mind that details are important, but making them with carbon only is tricky and really time consuming, so I advise you to do the best you can in the time that you have and not to focus too much on being exact on everything. At the end of the day, what matters the most will be the quantity and the diversity of details that you have on your craft. Afterwards, I made the details on the cockpit based on the pictures linked in the description below. and I glued the wings on the cockpit. To make the pedestal, I started to make a wall like that. I cut one of the tip in an angle. I glued another magnet on it. And I covered it with a piece of cardboard. Pay attention to put this magnet in the correct way, in order that this one works well in the one on your ship. I cut two other pieces like this to make the base. and I closed the openings on the sides. To make the construction solid and resistant, I covered it with a mist of wood glue and water. 
I made two layers of it. The first one with an equal mix of wood glue and water, and the second one with twice as much wood glue as water. And the last step that I do on all of my craft was to cover it with two layers of varnish. So this is how I made a T-Fighter. And if you want to learn more about how to make props, spaceship and other stuff from Star Wars, watch these videos over here and hit the subscribe icon as well so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.